ocular control. The objective is for student to follow the object with their eyes only. In this case, the student scored a zero, meaning he was successful in following the object with his eyes only. Imitation of postures. The objective is for the student to imitate 15 different postures as demonstrated by the teacher. In this case, the student scored 15. Standing balance. The objective is for student to balance on their left and right foot with arms crossed and knees apart for as long as possible. The student repeats this with their eyes closed. This is scored by the number of seconds successfully completed. Alternate hopping. The objective is for student to perform as many alternating hop patterns as possible without moving outside the marked box. The alternate hop pattern is two hops on each foot then switch. This is scored by one point for each completed 2-2 pattern. Object control setup. Mark an 18 by 36 inch target on the wall. Then mark distance lines away from the target. 10 feet for kinder through first grade, 15 feet second through fifth grade students, and 30 feet for secondary students. For each object control skill, students receive two practice attempts and five scored attempts. Throwing accuracy. The objective is for the student to overhand throw a six by six inch bean bag at a target from 15 feet away. Accuracy and form of the throw should be observed and recorded. See how the teacher marks each throw on a diagram. Students scored 12 at this skill. Catching. Objective is for student to catch a ball from 10 feet away, kinder through first grade, 15 feet away, second through fifth grade, and 30 feet away, secondary. Accuracy and form should be observed and recorded according to the score sheet. In this case, the student scored 15. Kicking. The objective is for student to kick a stationary ball towards the target from 15 feet away, elementary, or 30 feet away, secondary. Accuracy and form should be observed and recorded according to the score sheet. See how the teacher marks each kick on a diagram. Students scored four points. Kick rolling. Objective is for student to kick a rolling ball back in the intended direction from at least 15 feet away. Accuracy and form should be observed and recorded according to the score sheet. 
In this case, students scored 11. Notice, on two attempts, the student only made contact in the intended direction. For more details, refer to the scoring sheet. Running. The objective is for the student to run 20 yards as fast as they can. The form of their running pattern should be observed and recorded in accordance with the score sheet. Jumping. The objective is for the student to jump from 2 feet to 2 feet for a distance of 6 feet. Observe the form of the jump and it should be recorded in accordance with the score sheet. Hopping. The objective is for the student to continuously hop on one foot for 15 feet. The form of their hopping pattern should be observed and recorded in accordance with the score sheet. Galloping. The objective is for the student to gallop 20 yards with a continuous lead foot. Observe the form of the gallop and record it in accordance with the score sheet. Skipping. The objective is for the student to demonstrate their skipping skills continuously for 20 yards. Observe the form of the skipping and record it in accordance with the score sheet. Sit and reach. Flexibility. The objective is for the student to sit in a long sitting position with heels touching the wall. Legs must be fully extended with the knees locked at all times. The student holds the ruler between the palms with zero touching the wall. The student reaches forwards with both hands equally to the wall or as close to it as possible. The ruler slides through the hands. Student should hold this position for two seconds. The examiner reads the distance between fingertips and the wall. Record the score on the score sheet. Agility run. The objective is for the student to run 15 feet back and forth five times transferring bean bags one by one back to the start line. Start the time upon stating go and stop the time when the last bean bag is placed. Record the time on the score sheet. Bent knee curl ups. The objective is for the student to perform as many curl ups as possible with their knees bent and feet held on the floor. The student raises up far enough for their forearm 
to touch their thighs and return back to the ground. Record the number of successful trials on the score sheet. Push-up position. The objective is for the student to hold the push-up position with a straight body for as long as possible. Record the seconds of accurate performance on the score sheet. In this case, the student scored zero seconds because his hips were raised and his body was not in a straight position. push-ups. The objective is for the student to perform push-ups by lowering the body and bending the elbows to 90 degrees and then raise the body by straightening the arms. Push-ups should be performed with a straight body. Record the number of successful trials on the score sheet. Pacer test. The objective is for the student to run 20 meters back and forth, keeping pace with the music or the pacer test. If a student does not reach the line by the beep or reverses direction on the beep before reaching the line, allow them to attempt to catch up with the pace until he or she has missed two beeps. The student is stopped after being unable to reach the line two times, not necessarily in succession. Record the number of successful laps on the score sheet. Height and weight. The objective is to take the student's height and weight in order to calculate their body mass index. Record the student's height in inches to the nearest one quarter inch in the space provided on the score sheet. Weight. Record the student's weight in pounds and record in the space provided on the score sheet.